Wang from UIC, and I'm here to present uh, Qin Huang's work, Unsupervised Clustering Guided Semantic Segmentation. And uh, uh, this is work is uh, advised by Professor CCJ Kuo. Uh, usually, we use uh, cross labels to train the FCN to get the segmentation result. But actually, we can see there are some inter-class inter difference uh, in, the, in a certain class. For example, there are some different view angles for the airplane class. So our question is, are there sim uh, similar properties in the training data? And how can we take advantage uh, this information? Uh, actually, we can see there is some diversity in some uh, object class. For example, uh, the airplane class, we can see some uh, airplanes from very far away. And we, we have some bottom view and some uh, side view. The features are very different. And there are some different styles for the sailing, uh, for, for the boat class. There are some sailing boat, uh, cruiser ship, and the, the little boat. So we want to ask the network to learn with the more detailed labels so they can learn the, the detailed features. Uh, the, the challenges here are how to generate the subclass labels and uh, how to contribute the subclass uh, features to the final performance. Uh, here we propose uh, the labeling method to generate the subclass labels and uh, a novel fine to cost learning strategy. And finally, we have an efficient network structure with good performance. Uh, the network architecture overview is shown here. Uh, here, the fine and cost means that uh, the detailed levels of labels. Uh, we call the original labels uh, of course labels and uh, the, the uh, subclass labels as the fine labels. The first stage is that we train a baseline network with the original course label. And the second is that uh, uh, we generate subclass uh, fine label by clustering the original course label. And then we train the network with the subclass label. Finally, we retrain the network with the both the course and the fine label. Uh, there are some visualization of the results from Pascal VOC. Uh, the first line is the residual FCM baseline we use. Uh, you can see that uh, the future response of the plane uh, and the baseline result, there are some unexpected patterns uh, in, the, in the baseline result. Uh, by using our ICD F FCN, interclass difference FCN, uh, we fuse that the subplane response is to one whole future response. And then we generate our result, uh, we call the ICD FCN result. Uh, you can see that we can uh, get much better results compared with the baseline result. And to verify whether our clustering is efficient, we, uh, here we show the uh, cluster center image uh, for each subclass. Mm, for example, the, the airplane class, uh, here we have uh, the uh, different uh, cluster center image. This is from very far away, and this is the side view, and this is another kind of view. And also there are some different styles uh, for the boat and different parts for the bags. Uh, we use k-mean clustering to do the cluster, uh, but uh, well, you, you, we need to know what is the subclass, uh, the optimal subclass numbers. We use Hopkins statistics and the silhouette method to uh, define the, the optimal subclass, num uh, subclass number. Finally, we show that uh, the 75 is the best to achieve the, the best result actually. Uh, there is a 3% three, uh, 3 improvement compared with the baseline uh, uh, approach. And uh, here we use three training st stages. Uh, we analysis the complexity of our approach. Actually, there are similar total training time and the similar network size uh, compared with the baseline approach. And uh, we use, uh, for the st stage two, we use 30 apples to convert. And for the stage three, we use the uh, 40 apples to avoid overfitting. And there's uh, some results on Pasco VOC, both the qualitative and quantitative. This is our result, and it's my, this is the baseline approach. And uh, our results show that there has three, over three, uh, uh, three mean LU improvement compared with the baseline approach. And we use two baseline. This is have a 0 0.7 uh, uh, improvement compared with the deep life version two. Uh, we also show some uh, results on Pascal context. Uh, there's overall 2% uh, improvement. And uh, uh, we also
also do some experiments on the NYU DEPS 2. We have a 2% uh, percent, uh, percent improvement compared with this result. Uh, finally, to conclude, we propose a relabeling uh, re method to generate subclass labels and uh, now fine to cost learning strategy. Uh, we have an efficient network structure with competitive results. Thank you.